Hi everyone. I just want to tell everybody about the rear brake change on the Arcura RDX 2019, 20, and 21. So I haven't found much material online, so I figured I'm going to just post it um, since it's not as easy with the e-brake. Um, so some of the things. First of all, when you try to get the caliper bolts off, which are on the caliper here, these little things, they'll be covered by caps like this that will then hide them and there's a little bit of a difficulty to access them um, the top one is actually accessible with a regular wrench um, the spec on those is let me just see I think it's 12 millimeters 12 millimeter socket um, then the bottom one actually is not able to be taken off because the brake line is in the way so you sh you have to take off the um, this bracket that holds the brake line in place and then you're able to get at the bottom bolt so once you get that off then um, getting the caliper off is pretty easy you just take off the brake hardware does this and then the take off the caliper itself um, the housing it's pretty easy to take off afterwards. They have the two big bolts um, that you can see that are still on the caliper. I just put them back in. Um, and they go in the back over here, over there. Then comes the tricky part of retracting the e-brake. And if you, like me, don't have the uh, dongle or the OBD, ODB2 that has the brake retract function, you have to take off the motor. So I haven't seen that piece, which is why I'm posting it. So as you can see, I've taken off the two bolts. There's two bolts, one over here and one over there. They are bolts like this. Um, they go right through and right there. Um, actually, one of them rusted pretty badly. I had to use an impact driver to take it out. The other one take off, okay, got off pretty easily. Um, the spec for that is... I don't actually even know. Um, it's somewhere in here. Um, it's not relevant. It's a it's a hex, and they can actually be matched from one of the screwdriver bits. It's not a large bit. Um, so then comes the tricky part because I take it off the caliper myself. This one uh, itself, and with a e torx. So you have to have an e torx um, e12. That will spin this piece, which will then retract the plunger inside, and then you have to rotate the caliper itself. Now I know there's many ways, so this is like the old school way. Um, I just went cheap. I went with a set of pliers. So a set of pliers for me that matched it and rotated it carefully, very carefully actually, not to uh, puncture the uh, rubber, rubbers. Um, sleeve then um, you're gonna be okay to retract that back and after that everything is just putting everything back together so there you go um, that's the brake job on a rear brake job on Acura RDX third generation